Hi, my name is Levente Kovac and in this video I'm going to show you my logic project of the tail of a Hungarian fox. I've written this track as a demo for the VSL Synchron Woodwinds library. First I'm going to play the whole track and then I'm going to solo the woodwinds so you can listen to them separately. Later in the video I'm going to talk a bit about the mixing side of the project as well. So let's get to it. Here is the whole track. Here is a challenging clarinet part where I've used a lot of articulations like staccato, portato, fast repetitions and trills. The legato with marcato start is also good for staccato without changing the articulation. You can listen to this in this bassoon passage. For me the best things in this library are the recording quality is amazing as always. Everything was recorded in a standard orchestra seating position. I used absolutely no EQ on the woodwinds because they sound very clear and balanced already. The timber adjust is an exceptional tool to shape dynamics. The modular velocity crossfade can sound fake when you change between dynamic layers quickly, so you can use the timber adjust instead for more subtle changes or even combine the two. The Synchron Brass library has the same function. There it is even more powerful to take away the loudest forzato dynamic layer without changing the sound character too much. The attack release controls are also great. Here is the timber adjust, here is the attack and release control. And the last thing which is quite unique in my opinion is how well the instruments react to pitch bend. Not every library responds to pitch bend so I was really glad to find out that this one does. And it sounds very natural. Let me show you a clarinet passage so you can hear it for yourself. For the strings I've used the Synchron Strings Pro library with the Alice strings. Use the classic Sir to stereo presets. For the double bass I have two different lines. One is a standard section from the Synchron Strings Pro and the other one is a very small section more of a solo sound with the player one preset from the Elite strings. I use Colenio articulation to imitate a close jazzy upright bass sound. Now the whole section.
The brass is a little further in the room with the ambience presets. The percussion is a mixture of classic and ambience with the exception of the tambourine because there I use the closer to stereo settings. Here is the snare with the ambience preset. Marimba, ambience. Okay, now I'm going to show you the mixer channel. You can see that I've used some compression on the instrument groups and parallel compression on the whole track just to make the music sound a little bit more forward. I sent everything to this parallel compression channel. For me, in a production, the trickiest thing is always reverb. With these synchro libraries, it is a lot easier to create depth because everything sounds right together. When blending different libraries, it is a lot harder to achieve good results. For the reverb, I've used the Vienna Hybrid Reverb with a concert hall setting. I sent every instrument group to a different bus with slightly different reverb settings. I always have different pre-delay amounts, the biggest for the strings, around 50, and the smallest for the percussion in the back, around 10, 15 milliseconds. On the master channel there are analog model plugins, which I always use for the saturation and warmth. The virtual tape machines from Slate and the Kramer master tape are amazing for this. I've added a little bit of definition with the Buick EQ, around 3K and a little bit of boost of the low end and some top end boost with the Abbey Road TG Mastering plugin around 10K. The last thing I did were some stereo widening and the limiter set to overload protection. There. If you would like to know more things about this piece or my workflow in general, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.